listen, the most important thing in this life, number one, is Jesus Christ. You know, in order to get to your goals, in order to get to your plans, it's all in the hands of God. And what I say this, God says in the Bible, Proverbs 3 verse 5, Trust the Lord with all your trust the Lord with all your hearts and lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6. In all your ways, acknowledge the Lord, He'll direct your path. In order to find discipline, in order to have a drive and to do uh, the will of God, you must be disciplined. You must seek the Lord. There's a lot of people nowadays that they have plans, they have goals, they have dreams, they have aspirations, but they lose momentum, they lose focus. And why is that? Because you're not disciplined. Discipline comes from God, not from the world. If you look in, you look at Jesus in the, in the Bible, the way when, when God prayed, God, God knew when it was time for rest, God knew when to work, and it's a balance, you know. Your purpose is not from the world. Your purpose is from God. One thing I just decided, people said, oh man, yes, you find yourself, find, find what you want to do. I want you to this. Ask God, what have you come here to do? Because there's mysterious things that he could show you. He could show you, but how do you access those things? By staying in the secret place of the Most High. Bible says in the Psalm that he who dwells under the secret place shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. So my question to you is that are you dwelling with God? Are you staying with God? Are you being with God? That's the most important thing. If you don't have a relationship with God, you will never know your destiny. You will never know your future. I want to tell you this right now, yeah. With God, there's mysterious there's plans that he wants to show you. But he can only show you if he can trust you. Does God trust you though? You put time to the phone. You, you put time for the world. You put time to go outside of your phone. But what about God? And you're so fixated on this world rather than fixated on God. Because the plans that God has for you are so wow. They're so wow. But it's only access to those who want to see God, who are desperate for God, who are disciplined to, to know that without God, I'm absolutely nothing. So my question to you is that, who, what, what does God mean to you? What does God mean to you? Who is God to you? If you don't worship with God, how can you go far? How can you go far? You know, all your plans, all your goals, all everything just isn't all in the hands of God. Stop fixating on this world. This world cannot offer you anything. This world is so temporary. And I'm not saying yes, or live live every day like it's your last. But I'm saying to you, once you're with Jesus Christ, there's no condemnation. He has a path that you, only God knows your path. Stop looking for the world for attention. One day the world loves you, one day hates you, but God loves you no matter what. To nowadays to, to you see nowadays to be rich and famous, you have to do do certain things, demonic stuff. You may you you, you may need to, to do pro, wear provocative clothes or do this thing or most people their goal is to chase fame, chase money, chase power of this world so we can know them. But my question to you is that listen. The most important thing is if you do the will of God, God's will is more important than any world's life. Because there right now, man, you live, you have you have everything you attained, but so worthless. Because what 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 happened to you? You made money, you had all this fame, but it was for it was useless. Only for yourself. But when God blesses you with his foundation, when God blesses you with, with his will, it's meant to impact people. So my question to you is that how can you impact people? Are you impacting people though? Are you being a strength, a fortress for people? That's what matters the most. We all, we all of us want to be the famous, money driven, all this, have your life together. But listen, the only person that has your life together is God. And the only person that knows you more than you know yourself is Jesus Christ. Most people only love you at a cost. Probably all of us love you at a, at a cost. But it's because why we don't know how to love. You don't know how to love. But God knows how to love. God knows where you're going to be in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years. So why not go to the person that knows where you're going to be? That's what I don't understand. Why, why are you going to look to people on Instagram, on social media, when you look to people, they just look to God? You know, you, you, know, you, you know the guide to the perfect life it is the Bible. The Bible has your perfect life. What to do, what not to do, how to live a godly life. Because it's important. It's time that you take the Lord seriously. It isn't time to focus on your friends. It isn't time to just be doing, just doing the go, partying, smoking, drinking, wasting your life away. Because there's there's a mission that God is calling me and you to do every single day. And I know this this was tempt there is temptation everywhere you go, where you look, what you see on social media. There is so much temptation, and I fully understand that. My question to you though. 
That is why you must be disciplined. That's why you're meant to stand up because you're not meant to be like the world. The Bible says that God, God, um, for Christ loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whoever, whoever believes in him shall not perish. Love comes from God. Your plans, your goals, your aspirations all comes from God. I used to want, I, I want to chase the world. I want to have all the money. I want to have all, the, I want to have all that. And because I've got that at a, a young age, it is so worthless. It means absolutely nothing if you don't know God. It made me empty. It made me depressed. It made me so worthless and empty because I realized that what I've chased from the world, it couldn't offer me anything. Money can't offer anything. Once you have money, what next? Once you have the car, what next? Once you have the nice woman, what next? What, what, what next? But why not have a godly woman? Why not have have a, 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 a loving family? Why not have a purpose from God that will always satisfy you? That will make you proud, that will make God proud, that will inspire millions? Because this is what I believe. If God was to give you a big platform, how would you use it? Is it would you for yourself, for your own beneficial gains, or is it for God's gains? And that's what respect is. Because nowadays, most people, God has given people a lot of platforms, bless them platforms, but now only for themselves. And, and then, God forbid, they pass in it. What did they do that the health law? What did they do to, to be a person for, for God? What did they actually do? That's what it's about. We must, me and you must ask God to search our hearts. Search our hearts. Search our plans, God. What do you want to do, God? How can we work with you? How can we stay in the alignment of Jesus Christ? That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing in this life. God, did you know God? Do you have a relationship with God? Listen, we're not, we're, we're not saying by, by his grace, but our actions show that did we walk with God? Did we fully have reverence and honor for the Lord Jesus Christ? That's the most important thing. I want you to, on, on this time, the fact is that be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There's more to that, but be, be transformed. My question to you, are you transformed for the world or are you transformed for God? That's the most important thing now. That's the most important thing. God has a, a mission for you, have a mission to do. My, my question to you, are you going to take it or not? Are you, are you going to live for the world or are you going to live for God? That's the sacrifice me and you must make as a daily Christian. We must make on the work that you're doing because all of us have a mission to do. But it's up to you. I know it's not going to be easy. Who says it's going to be easy? But it's the most rewarding mission. It's going to be high. It's going to have trials. It's going to have, trials, it's going to have temptations. It's going to have so many ups and downs. But when God is by our side, that's what should keep us focused. That's, that, that, that's what should keep us humble and grounded in the Lord because he knows where we're going to be. So I want to say to say any young people that's here watching this video, please number one, dedicate your life to Jesus Christ. Number two, ask God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Search him, seek him, honor him. Take time out of your day for the Lord. Discipline yourself. If you can discipline yourself to go to work, if you can discipline to, to, to go to school and all this, why not for God? Why not for this person that created you? You're alive because of him. Your family's alive. You're beating in a nice household, all this stuff. Because of God, it's not by you. It's by the grace and the mercy of God. That's what people need to understand. It's not by you. You didn't make it. He made you. He knew where you're gonna be in five ten. He knew it. You don't. He he knows your last breath. He knows where you're going. he knows it. So please put it and give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. And stop following the world. The world can't offer you anything. It's time to work. It's time to step into the calling. Stop wasting time. Stop stop caring what people think. I'm perfect. I'm perfect in this verse in Jeremiah. In Jeremiah, am I meant to please man or please God? Who are you? Who, who do you want to please? A female or male or you want to please your king? That's why a lot of people are not stepping to the call. That's why a lot of people don't are ashamed. They're afraid of what am I talking about God? What if? What if? What if? What if? But take that down because they ain't no God. Mouth they can talk. That can that can kill the body. Prefer of God that can kill both body and cast body into hell. And can kill yourself. No, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna that. I'm gonna put here. I'm gonna put the verse there. I'm gonna put the verse there, yeah. But please, guys, please, 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 please. I beg you by the grace of God. All my goal for the video is to let you guys know that listen, we all got a calling, we all got a mission to do, we all got a task that God is sending, what we need to do. And it's time for us to take initiative. It's time for us not trying to fit in. It's time for us not trying to be all oh, my days. I got it. It's time just to step for God because right now. There's a revival, there's a change, there's something you're not going to do in your life. And I believe that I could talk all day, but it's up to you to take the, the discipline, to take that step. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. God bless you. We got elevated. We got put to the top. And by the grace, align to you as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Love and roll safe.